Well, if you didn't have to go to work today, just be glad you live in Rhode Island. Today is Victory Day, once again marking Rhode Island, the only state in the uh, country to uh, celebrate the end of World War II with a legal holiday. Eyewitness News reporter Ted Nisi joins us now with the history behind this unique local tradition. It was only 12 years ago that Rhode Island dedicated the World War II Memorial here in downtown Providence, but decades before the state had already established a different kind of tribute to those who served in the war, Victory Day. August 14, 1945, spontaneous celebrations break out nationwide at the announcement that Japan has surrendered. Nazi Germany had given up three months before, so World War II was finally over. Rhode Island had made a major contribution to the war effort. More than one in ten residents served in the military. Future presidents, including George H.W. Bush, trained in the state, and local factories pumped out ships and supplies. So in 1948, state lawmakers voted to make Victory Day a legal holiday. Some lawmakers argued Rhode Island was ahead of the curve and that Victory Day would likely become a national holiday, but that never happened. Arkansas did have its own version of the holiday, but got rid of it in the 1970s, leaving Rhode Island on its own. As the years went by, that became a source of controversy. Even though the legal name of the holiday was always Victory Day, many Rhode Islanders continued to call it VJ Day, short for Victory Over Japan. A Japanese film crew visited in 1991 to try and understand why the state had a holiday they viewed as celebrating the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. We don't get it. Why only, you know, state of Rhode Island? Still keeping it. Lawmakers passed a resolution in 1990 saying it is erroneous and offensive to refer to Victory Day as VJ Day, but General Assembly leaders have declined to eliminate the holiday. Part of the reason was surely the desire for a day off in August, but another was expressed to us by a veteran after a 2015 Victory Day ceremony in Pawtucket. We celebrate it, however morbid it is because of the lives that were, uh, that were happy to be taken. But uh, it was necessary because in the end it saved many, many, many lives. Years ago, Victory Day ceremonies were packed with veterans who served in World War II, but today they are a rare sight. Out of more than 92,000 Rhode Islanders who served in the war, barely 2,000 are still alive today. In Providence, Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.